Hello, and welcome to Advanced Microeconomic Theory. I'm Professor Naomi Utgoff of the United States Naval Academy, and in this video, we'll talk about how to read an economic theory paper. Reading an economics paper takes practice, like any other kind of reading. The thing that makes this kind of reading hard is that economics papers are dense. Therefore, you need to read in a staggered fashion, taking notes as you go. Using the method described in this video, you can stop at any one step. Each successive step represents a deeper level of reading than the previous one. First, read the abstract. The abstract is the little paragraph at the beginning of the paper, and it should tell you three things. The problem the authors study, the solution they present, and the economic importance of both the problem and the solution. When I'm done reading the abstract, I summarize these three items myself in my own words. If I can't do so immediately, I usually try to read the abstract a second or third time, and at that point, if I still don't know exactly what the authors are discussing, I make a note of it and I move on to the introduction. Now we come to the introduction. The introduction is the make or break section of the paper. It's where the author gets to say why the problem is important and the solution is good and why the reader should care. When I was in graduate school, one of my committee members characterized an introduction I'd written as excellent, and I nearly passed out from happiness. A good introduction will flesh out the points of the abstract and ground the paper in related literature and research. I like to make little notes in the margins as I go along to make sure that I'm reconciling my understanding of the introduction with the points made in the abstract. Next comes the model section. This is where the authors define their notation and any concepts that you'll need to read the paper. I make an example of every single thing that the authors define or describe, and then I write a verbal description of how it relates to the economic story they told in the introduction. The balance of the paper contains the author's results. In a theory paper, proved theorems. I take an example from the model section, and I work through to understand how each result applies to this example. Reading the proofs constitutes the deepest level of reading. I read the proofs sometimes. Usually, it suffices to work through a sufficiently pithy example to see how the results apply. If I wish to emulate a proof method in my own work, I definitely read the proofs and make sure I understand every last detail. Finally, I read the conclusion to check my understanding one last time. This is where the authors should tie everything up nice and neatly and often suggest future research steps. Thanks so much for watching this discussion of how to read an economic theory paper. In the next video, I'll read a paper, cold, using this method.